Good morning. Today's lesson is 2.2. Today we are going to do some comparison problems. Our essential question is, how does a model help you solve a comparison problem? So let's unlock the problem. Evan's dog weighed seven times as much as Onyx's dog. Together, the dogs weighed 72 pounds. How much does Evan's dog weigh? So we're going to use the multiplication model that we used yesterday. And we're going to let the N represent the unknown. And for us, the unknown is how much Onyx's dog weighs, right? We don't, we don't know. It says it's, we know Evan's dog weighs seven times as much as Onyx's dog. And we know that together, they both weigh 72. So together, Evan's and Onyx's both weigh 72, but we don't know Onyx's. And we know that Evan's is seven times that amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I'm looking at this, I'm, now I'm going to use this model and I'm going to write an equation to find the value of n. Well, how many n's do I have? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus onyxes, which is 8. So I have 8 n's, so I have 8 times n, and we know that it's going to equal this 72. And what times 8 equals 72? Think about it. 8 times, hmm... Yes, if you said 9, that is the correct answer. So 8 times 9 equals 72. So the value of, nine, of n is 9. So that means Onyx's dog right here is just one of the n's, right? So n is how much Oxana's dog weighs, okay? So now we need to find out how much Evan's dog weighs. Well, think about it. Evan's dog weighed 7 times as much as Oxana's dog. So seven times as much as Oxana's dog. And we know that Oxana's dog was this n value, which was nine. So seven times nine, and seven times nine equals 63. So Evan's dog weighs 63 pounds. To find out how many times as much, you can use the multiplication model to find out how much more or fewer. Model the addition or subtraction. Evan's dog weighs 63 pounds. Oxana's dog weighed nine pounds. How much more does Evan's dog weigh than Oxana's dog? Example two, use addition or subtraction model. So we're gonna draw a model and let N represent the unknown. So you're gonna think about it. N is gonna represent the difference because that's the unknown. We don't know what the difference is. So as I'm setting it up, we know that Evan's dog weighed 63 pounds. Whoops. And we know that Oxana's dog weighed nine pounds but we don't know the difference. We don't know the difference between the two. So this is the difference between the two. So this whole bar is 63 and then this is nine and we don't know the difference right here in this little area right there. So for using the model, we're gonna take the 63 from Evans and we're gonna subtract the nine from Oxana and that's gonna give us the value of n. So 63 minus nine is 54. So the value of n is 54. So n is 54 and it is how much more? So it's how much more Evan's dog weighs. Um, and so Evan's dog weighs 54 pounds more than Oxana's dog. All right, share and show. Maria's dog weighs six times as much as her rabbit. Together, the, pay, the pay, pets weigh 56 pounds. What does Mariana's dog weigh? So let's draw a model and we're gonna let N represent the unknown. So what we know is, we know that Mariana's dog weighs six times as much as her rabbit. So six times as much as her rabbit. And we know that together they weigh 56 pounds. So we know that the dog is gonna be more and the rabbit is gonna be less, right? And we know that together they weigh 56 pounds. What we don't know is how much the rabbit is. So we're gonna make the rabbit's weight be in. And we know that the dog is six times as much as the rabbit. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six times as much because this N is representing the amount of the rabbit, right? So let's write an equation to find the value. So the reason we're doing seven times N is because we have the six ends of the dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven with the rabbit, right? So it's gonna be seven times N. And we know that it's gonna equal the 56, okay? Now I have to think. I think in my head, what times seven, what number times seven equals 56? Well, that's gonna be eight. So that means that N is eight. 
So that means the rabbit, I'm gonna go back in here. We know the rabbit now. The rabbit is eight pounds. So, and all of these ends are now eight, right? Because that was, these were, the dog is six times the amount. So in order to find out what Maria's dog weighs, I have to take eight, the pounds, and I have to multiply it times six because that's how many, it said it was six times as more, and eight times six is 48. So Maria's dog weighs 48 pounds. All right, let's draw a model, and then we're gonna write an equation and solve it. So last month, Ken trained three times as many dogs as cats. If the total number of cats and dogs she trained last month is 28, how many cats did she train? Okay, you really have to break these problems down. So what do we know? We know that she trained three times as many dogs as cats. So if this is my cats, I know she trained, we don't know that amount. And my dogs, I know that she trained three times as many. So there's gonna be three of these. One, two, three. And I know that the total number of cats and dogs is 28. So the total of these is 28. But I don't know my cats, and I just know that my dogs are three times as many as my cats. So let's write an equation to solve this. We know that it's going to equal 28 because that's how much it was together. And we know that we have one, two, three, four n's. So four times n is gonna be 28. So now I think to myself, what times four gives me 28? And this is why knowing those math facts are gonna be really important. And I know seven times four equals 28. So that means four times seven equals 28. So N is the number seven, which means that um, she trained seven, she trained seven cats. So I'm actually gonna come back in here she trained seven cats, which means for dogs, she trained three times as many. So for cats, it was seven, and for dogs, it's three times as many, and three times seven is 21. So she trained 21 dogs, and she trained seven cats. Okay, the next question asks us, how many more dogs than cats did Kim train? Draw a model. Well, we know that Okay, so we know that the dogs, we had 21, and for cats, we had seven. But what we don't know is we don't know the difference, the space in between, right? We don't know this amount. Um, so let's write an equation for it. So we know 21 minus seven is gonna give us this amount here, okay? And 21 minus seven is 14. So N equals 14. So that means that Kim, that she trained 14, Kim trained 14 more dogs than cats. Okay, I'm gonna ask that you do these four problems on your own. You can use your scrap journals, make models to help you, then write your equations, however it's gonna help you to actually physically see it. Remember to take it apart, underline it in the book if you have to, to know what's there. You know, four times as many boxers as spaniels and you have a total of 30 dogs. So whatever you need to do to help you get those four problems done, when you are done with those four problems, I want you to go on to the Math on the Spot and watch the Math on the Spot video in Think Central, and then I want you to do just this number 10, okay? Um, when you are done with that, then you're gonna go on Think Central and answer the problems like we always do. And if you need me, I will be on the carpet. Good luck.